This is the theater of Mariupol. It's been taken by the Russian forces already for two weeks, and it was destroyed, according to uh, the Russian spokesman, um, by the Ukrainian forces, which were uh, installed in this theater and had hostages in the basement. Uh, we were told that uh, this was exploded from inside uh, by the retreating Ukrainian forces, uh, trying to uh, blame Russia for the uh, this is a cultural catastrophe, and also um, to slow the advancement of Russian troops. A reporter in a hamlet and Art Mortves on the scene is certainly a good way to tell the story of the city of Mariupol in the Donbass. But this other simpler one is perhaps much better. This shelling continues every day and night. Thank God that Russia has come to give us food and help us. Anyway, how many weeks did it all last? Pretty much since the beginning of March. Things have been going downhill. All the houses around us were on fire, burning all around us. Just as there is a time of destruction, there is a time of creation. Hopefully, after that, it will be a creation time. But still, sometimes, everything repeats itself. The tragedy in Mariupol has its own name, Azov Battalion. Near Nazis settled in these buildings, every other floor, to shoot at Russian troops. They didn't let the residents escape and then fled to barricade themselves in the Azovstal steel complex. Tell me, are you saying that you saw these snipers? Where did they come from? From the houses, from the attics, usually. What did they look like? Yes, I saw the one doing the shooting. I saw the telescopic sight. I didn't see exactly how he fired the shots. But when they were coming down from the penthouse, I saw the sniper rifle. With the sniper rifles? Yes, I saw the one doing the shooting. I saw the telescopic sight. I didn't see exactly how he fired the shots. But when they were coming down from the penthouse, I saw the sniper rifle.